Now, when uh, we create rebar drawings, especially of elements like slabs or walls, which are basically flat elements, uh, we uh, in, in the drawings, we either have plan views, like the one shown over here, in which we are looking at uh, the rebars uh, as lines, basically, from the top. Uh, or we have sectional views, as you can see on the right-hand side over here, in which we are seeing some of the rebars as lines and some of the rebars as, as dots. So these are very uh, typical to have a view, a plan view and a sectional view uh, in, in your drawings. So now let's go to a, uh, a drawing um, and see those plans and sectional views. Uh, so I've opened a drawing over here, and I can see this is this is the plan view which has been imported from the model. This is one sectional view taken from somewhere over here, and this is another sectional view taken from the middle. But the point is that all your bars, uh, let me turn on the, the line weights, all your bars are visible. Uh, so this bar is going from there to there. This bar is going from here to here. Each one of them is uh, has a certain range. There's only, only two bars, then this one in its own uh, region. This one has its own region. So they'll all have their own reasons. And from the sectional view also, we will see them as either lines or as dots. Now, uh, when we create drawings, we can uh, we usually have different styles of uh, representing these bars in the sectional views and in the, in the, in the plan views. And normally what is done is that you, you take these bars individually. So for example, for this bar, what you will do is you will take it and instead of showing all the bars, you will show one representative bar and it, you will also show the range uh, across which it is, uh, it is going to be placed. And similarly for this one, you will show one representative bar somewhere. You'll find an appropriate place for it and then show the range. And you'll keep doing that until you go through all the whatever 500 position marks you have in that, in that slab. And that, that is, it, it, that is time consuming. And then, you would go down and do the same for uh, for the dots. So you will have a, a dimension of, of these uh, dots over here, then another one for these, and then another one for these. Um, and you'll keep doing that until you finally get to the end of the drawing. And that, that is uh, time consuming. In Commosis, uh, we have a feature which is very suitable for situations like this in which you have uh, plan views and sectional views. And what you do is you just select a particular viewport that's all you need to do, just select the viewport and press this auto annotate the viewport for rebars. And when you do that, let me just do that. Immediately, you see on the screen that all that thing which you were going to do manually, that this is leaving one bar and giving its range. So for example, you have this bar and it tells you the range and you actually this, this range is selecting two bars, the bottom bar and the top bar. Uh, so what it does uh, is, do automatically for you what this this could have taken you maybe uh, 15 20 minutes but it's it's going to take you a second now you can do the same in your sectional view as well by the way and when you press that button the sectional uh, rebars have been um, annotated and dimensioned uh, given giving their spacings and all that is required and you can go to this view as well and just press the button again and once again your uh, rebars have been dimensioned and the, you can see the position numbers and the spacings and the and the diameters. Now, this is very. Um, this is a huge time-saving feature, because what you can you can you can choose to uh, have your filters of just the top reinforcement only, and then another one for the bottom reinforcement, or, or all of them put together. So here you can see it's also labeled them, labeled them as bottom and top. Uh, it, it all depends on how you filtered up the system, but the the drawing. But uh, the point is that what would normally have taken you maybe about 35, 40, 45, depending on your speed, obviously, has literally taken you a few seconds. And this is very, very useful. For more general and more complicated cases, you can always create your uh, rebar drawings manually as well. You can go uh, in and you can dimension them with automatic dimensioning commands. When I say dimensioning, I mean, I mean auto annotation of the rebars so that they get their bar numbers, etc., and the counts and the number of bars, etc. Sometimes things can get really complicated and you, you need to uh, then go in and do some manual modifications to the to whatever has been provided for you. But your material lists will be produced automatically in all cases. And uh, that is that, that's a major uh, time saver even in the complicated cases.
here you see some eccentric foundations which are not centered and they've been uh, created or uh, the data the details have been done manually and uh, you can see that the the results is the results are very neat and clean once again rebar modeling is actually um, it will save you a lot of time if uh, in uh, as far as the bottom line is concerned it seems as if it it's an extra time you spend on modeling but the reality is that all that time which you spend on modeling does two things first of all it saves up immensely on your uh, drawing creation time because the, the modeling is the one which takes more 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 of your time and the second thing is it the, the quality of your drawing gets much better so there's no contradiction between your plans and your sections if it's modeled correctly if you, if what you see on the screen is right then the drawings will also come out to be exactly in accordance with that here are some more samples of rebar drawings another one over here another one over here some rebar dimensioning in the plan view We have commands which actually produce uh, these dimensions automatically as well. Once you have imported your rebars into the drawing, you can just click on a button and it will convert all the all the multitudes of rebars which you are seeing on the screen into these uh, simple ones, which you can then uh, move around to, if you want to clean them up even more. And you can even produce entire drawings made of nothing but material lists. Uh, which can cover basically the entire or whatever part of the structure or the entire structure, maybe for procurement purposes uh, or whatever other purpose might, uh, might uh, you might have.